Hey, Piakura here with a short video about Endworkers Bard, where I'll showcase a tentative opener from the balance, as well as the 2 minute cycle on a dummy, and then I'll go on to explain the reasoning behind this opener and the new rotation. I will make another more complete guide later on, as the Bard rework is pretty significant and things are still being figured out, so for the time being, this video will have to do. Without further ado, let's get into it. The opener is fairly similar to what we did in Shadowbringers with a few differences. We start with Stormbite and immediately with Wanderers to let it generate procs as soon as possible, with Raging Strikes with it, followed by Caustic Bite and double with Imperial Arrow and Bloodletter to get them on cooldown as soon as possible. Use a feeder, pop Battle Voice and Radiant finale, then you can start filling with Burst Shots and Refulgent as needed. With any fully stacked Pitch Perfect as soon as possible, as well as Sidewind and Barrage. As usual, take care not to override any Refulgent proc when you weave Barrage, then keep weaving Imperial, Bloodletter, and 3 stack Pitch Perfects, then finish with Iron Jaws to snapshot Raid Buffs before they fall off. If Imperial coincides with a Song Tick and you are sitting on 2 stacks of Pitch Perfect, you can either weave Pitch Perfect first and then Imperial, or you can just wait for the Tick to happen first. From here on out, the goal is to keep a tight 2 minute rotation with our songs while using Imperial off cooldown. The goal is to divide the song cycle into 43 seconds of wanderers, 34 seconds of mages, and 43 seconds of armies. That's because ticks happen every 3 seconds starting from the 42 second mark of each song, which makes them much more predictable than before. That means you will get your last tick at 3 seconds remaining for each song, and any remaining time after that point is essentially useless. There is still some research to do about Apex's usage, but in general, you can use Apex at 100 soul voice as soon as possible during odd minutes and hold the next one for your burst window. Keep side window on cooldown as well. And if you have a ninja in the party, you can try to fit as much as you can into trick attack. The reason we cut Mage's short this time around is because it is currently the weakest song of the rotation due to the nerf to Blood Letters cooldown reduction, which makes armies slightly better when it's fully charged, on top of providing news for the next burst window. When you transition to armies, you can spend the rest of your bloodletter charges and then start putting them for your burst in wanderers. By the way, if you've paid attention to my song transitions, you'll notice I don't quite manage to do a clean 43, 34, 43 rotation, which is fine, but the closer you are to it, the less likely you will drift your rotation over the course of the fight. The default timing to use your potion would be for the 2 minute burst, if that doesn't make you lose a use over the course of the fight. Put at around 6 or 5 seconds remaining on armies in the GCD before going into Wanderers, then with Wanderers late into the OGCD window, use a feeder, then with Raging Strikes late, use another feeder, and pop Radiant Finale and Battle Voice. What follows is a list of things you will have to go through within the next 15 seconds. Spend any Refugent proc before using Barrage, use Barrage Refugent, use Apex at 80 Soul Voice or more, use Iron Jaws to snapshot raid buffs, use Blast Arrow, Use Sidewinder, fit in as many 3 stacks pitch perfect as you can, use Imperial Arrow without wasting a proc, and dump all of your bloodletter charges. And that's basically the rotation. If you have any questions, feel free to drop by the balance discord in the bar channels or leave a comment under this video and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. You can find the current best in slot set down in the description. I'll let the opener and rotation play once more without interruption before ending this video. I hope you're all enjoying Endwalker as much as I do, 